Halo as a franchise is full of shocking moments. After all, it's a long sci-fi epic, so of course there's going to be some unpredictable times in it. But with Halo Infinite coming out next year, right around the corner, what are the main moments throughout the series that caught you off guard, that just floored you, that made your jaw drop? Welcome to Chaos Gaming, guys. Today, we're going to be going over some of the most shocking moments in Halo history. You let me know in the comment section which of these blew your mind the most. If there's one that doesn't make the list that you want everybody to know about, put it down there and tell me. Do you think Halo Infinite will live up to the legacy in the hype? This month's giveaway is for your choice of a PS5 or an Xbox Series X. All you have to do to enter is drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment with your Twitter handle so we can get hold of you telling me which one you want. The winner is picked at the end of the month. Good luck. The first one for me is Cortana is evil. Now, Halo 5 was an interesting game. That may be putting it lightly, but I'm going to be nice here. Following the dramatic conclusion of Halo 4, we thought we weren't going to see Cortana again. But then about halfway through Halo 5, it revealed that not only are we going to see Cortana again, but she's not the same AI we remember. While Cortana isn't distinctively evil, her objectives, well, they've altered. She doesn't want to kill Chief, but she now has goals much bigger than us and aspirations, and she knows what she has to do in order to complete them. Now, honestly, I have no idea where this arc is going, and 343 has a lot of work to do in order to make it a very satisfying conclusion, but this reveal was definitely a big moment. Cortana had been by our side since the very beginning, and to see her walk away, that was shocking. There's another Halo. This is an old one, and it's obviously not going to surprise anybody now, but when we were playing through Halo 2 for the very first time, this one blew everybody's mind. The whole objective of the first Halo campaign was to destroy the Halo ring, and at the end of the game we managed to get it done, spoiler alert. However, pretty soon into Halo 2, it's revealed that there, there's more Halo rings. What? What? From that point, the story becomes about Chief and the Marines trying to figure out how the heck they're supposed to go around the galaxy and destroy all these rings before the Covenant can figure out how to activate them. Like I said, at this point, everybody knows there's more than one Halo ring, but back in the day when we were playing through Halo 2 for the first time, this was a shocking reveal after all. When you spent the entire first game trying to destroy one ring, one ring to rule them all, it's pretty shocking to learn that there's actually a lot more you had to do in order to actually eliminate this threat. The Grave Mind. This was one of the weirdest moments for any Halo fan to witness, if you ask me. I remember getting to this part in Halo 2 and not understanding what was actually going on, but I was super intrigued at the same time. Following a near-death encounter for both Chief and the Arbiter, they grabbed, uh, some, well, they were grabbed by some giant tentacles and they were dragged underwater to the Grave Mind, which is a giant hive mind creature related to the Flood. It was at this moment where Chief and Arby finally realized they needed to work together and the Prophet of Truth is actually the ultimate enemy, not each other. It was an awesome reveal and I, it definitely blew everyone's mind when it first happened. Johnson's Death. Now, Johnson is one of the best characters in any video game ever. He's tough, he's courageous, never surrenders, even when the odds are completely against him. Plus, he's full of great one-liners to keep your spirits up. Near the end of Halo 3, spoiler alert again, Chief and Johnson are surprise attacked by 343 Guilty Spark, leading to Johnson's demise. It was actually very shocking. It was a shocking way for a beloved character to go out, and some people still don't know if it was deserved or not. I'm not going to judge here. I'll leave that debate for you guys in the comment sections. But Johnson's death was certainly shocking, and it gets a top five spot on today's list. I think he deserved better. Speaking of shocking deaths, the death of Keys. In Combat Evolved, the original, Keys was our boy. He wasn't super fleshed out yet, but he was a good, strong captain. At this point in the campaign, we also had seen the Flood here, and there, I mean, I don't know, we, we, we didn't know exactly what they were capable of. We knew they were pretty terrifying. That's why this shocking reveal gets a spot today. During a mission about halfway through the game, you're heading around the ship to get Captain Key so you can leave, but when you finally meet up with him, guess what? He's been ripped apart and harvested by the Flood in the middle of the ship's hangar. Nobody saw this coming. It was shocking for a game to kill off a major character in such a gruesome way and so quickly. And to this day, I think this is probably the most graphic character death in Halo history. 343 Guilty Spark, the boss fight. I don't care who you are. Nobody expected the final boss fight of Halo 3 to be against Guilty Spark. Now, GS is, has to be one of the most obnoxious characters in all of Halo, not because of his attitude or his one-liners, but rather because of how frequently he switches sides. He's, he's a waffler. He's a flake. 
In Combat Evolved, he's your friend, but then he betrays you in Halo 2 and he switches sides. And in Halo 3, he switches sides twice. You never, ever trust Guilty. And the final twist of his character is where he goes nuts at the end of Halo 3 and becomes the final boss after murdering Johnson. Guilty Spark is one of the most memorable characters in Halo history because of just that. How unpredictable he was. Even if he was helping you, you didn't quite trust him in the slightest sense and it all culminated with this final fight in Halo 3. The Halo Reach Epilogue. Now, Halo Reach was a story that we all knew how it ended. Before you even went into it, going into that campaign, we knew everybody was going to die because it's a prequel and Halo 1 needs all these people to be dead, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think though we were expecting the very end of Halo Reach to be as emotional as it was. It played on your heartstrings. Rather than just show us a cutscene of what happened, the Halo Reach epilogue drops you into the battlefield as Noble Six, all alone and badly outgunned. And it tells you to just survive. You fight the Covenant off as long as you can, but once you die, it really is game over. And then the final cutscene plays. It was an amazing way to end a game, and it was an amazing way to send off Noble Six. It was certainly appropriate as Bungie's final outing with the Halo license. I know some grown adults that shed a tear over this one. And finally, the death of Cortana. Now, this is something that most Halo players were torn on. Cortana had been your main companion throughout the entire series. And in Halo 4 in the campaign, that connection was really being fleshed out more than ever before. So when the ending cutscene finally plays, and we see Cortana sacrifice herself for the good of humanity, it's an extremely bittersweet moment. On one hand, it's very heroic. Uh, I mean, it's heroic from a, a heroic and iconic character. On the other hand, that's Cortana. You can't kill her. You, it just, it'd be like killing Chief. Well, that's kind of happened as well. And of course, she wasn't dead for long because then she came back in Halo 5, sort of, as like we talked about before. So w talking about it now, it's a little different. It doesn't hit as hard. But then at the end of Halo 4, when you went through it for the first time, this was a shocking moment for Halo players new and old. I personally think it takes the cake. It's the number one spot on today's shocking moments in Halo history. Let me know one moment that we forgot that was deserving to be added to this list. If you guys enjoyed the video, share it around, drop that like, and I'll see you soon.